The Springfield Race Riot of 1908 was a violent and racially motivated conflict that occurred in Springfield, Illinois. This event is notable for being one of the earliest race riots in the 20th century United States. Springfield, the capital of Illinois, had a relatively small African-American population at the time. However, racial tensions were fueled by economic competition, social issues, and the prevailing racism of the era. The riot was sparked by two separate incidents involving African-American men and white women. In the first incident, a white woman, Mabel Hallam, claimed that she had been attacked by a black man. In the second incident, a white man, George Richardson, was murdered, and a black suspect, Joe James, was arrested. As news of these incidents spread, a white mob formed, seeking retaliation. The mob targeted the African-American community in Springfield, attacking black residents and businesses. The violence escalated, leading to widespread chaos and destruction. African-American neighborhoods were particularly affected, with homes and businesses being looted and set on fire. The riot resulted in multiple injuries and deaths, and the African-American community suffered extensive property damage. The Illinois National Guard was called in to restore order, and martial law was declared. The violence subsided with the intervention of the National Guard, but the impact of the riot lingered. The aftermath of the Springfield Race Riot prompted increased awareness of racial tensions and discrimination in the United States. The riot led to the formation of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP, in 1909, which aimed to address racial injustice and advocate for civil rights.